and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, we got the end of the Zero Chill promo, guys. It is official. Christmas is over. Zero Chill is gone. Kindling is gone. The Kindling conversion has happened. So when you guys log on today, when you get back from school, you get back from work, you get back from, from life, you wake up, it doesn't matter. Your Kindling will have been converted. Now, the Kindling conversion ratio was 1 to 2. So for every one Kindling you got, you had, you got two training. So I think I had about 500 Kindling, so I got about 1,000 training. So if you had 20,000 Kindling, you'll get 40,000 training, 50,000 Kindling, 100,000 training, and so on and so forth. I think you guys can handle that math. Now, the end of this promo only means one thing, and that is the start of a new promo. Starting tomorrow morning at 10.30, the NFL Playoff promo will be dropping. And as you guys know, the NFL Playoffs do start Saturday as well. I believe there are some games on Saturday, so it lines up perfectly for the NFL Playoffs, as well as they should be releasing some leaked pictures tonight on the EA Twitter. I shouldn't call them leaked. They're not entirely leaked because they're giving them out themselves. But guys, before we get into the video and I keep on talking... Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that naughty bell, boys. We're on our grind to 17K. We're growing crazy fast. We grew, We had almost 300 subscribers yesterday. The way we make that happen is by spamming that like button. I had my best day on YouTube yesterday. I had like 25, 26,000 views. It was my best view day on YouTube as a YouTuber yet. So you know why that happened, guys? Because all of you naughty gang guys came out, you showed support, and you liked the video. If you guys want to see that happen again, can we get 500 to 1,000 likes on our 1030 video? All you guys got to do is spam the like button. Everyone watching right now, hit that like button. Comment Noti Gang. You know Gang, you guys are what happened. You guys make the channel grow. If we could do that again, we could easily hit 17K by the end of the week. So let's make it happen. Now getting back to what I was saying, they will be releasing pictures on the EA stream. Not the EA stream. There's no stream tonight, I don't believe. It will be on the Twitter page. Now, I am blocked by Madden Twitter. So if you guys ever wonder why I don't retweet pictures on my Twitter about the new players, they blocked me. So I'm blocked by the Twitter page. So I usually have to wait for one of you guys to retweet it and then I can retweet the picture you guys tweeted out. But you actually don't actually if you guys want to help me here. Take a screenshot of the picture and then tweet it at me. And then I could retweet your tweet because I cannot see it otherwise. It's kind of frustrating. But they will be releasing the Masters tonight. So there should be about 1295 overall Masters that we should be concerned with for later tonight. If they do it the way they usually do it, 12 Masters and then two like Legends uh, playoff Masters in general. That should be pretty cool. I don't know if they release all of them tonight. They probably won't. They'll probably release like so the, all the NFC or... 3 NFC, 3 AFC, they'll probably do something like that. And maybe some, I don't think they'll release the low players. Those you typically have to find out when the promo does drop. It should be pretty fun. Now, I won't probably make, I won't be making a video on it tonight because it won't be enough of it. I will definitely make a video tomorrow morning going over the whole bulk of the promo as soon as it does actually drop. Now, I am pretty excited for this promo. It's going to be really fun. Now, remember, Team of the Year does come out very shortly after... And, guys, if you want to know most of the promo stuff, first off, always come to my video tomorrow. When you come, when you wake up tomorrow morning, go on YouTube, go watch that, go watch the video. It'll be up around, like, probably 10.55, I'd imagine, and you can go see all the playoff stuff. But first thing you want to do when you enter that playoff promo is go over to sets. You will see a playoff set. It should have AFC, NFC, and exchange. You'll probably see all the AFC players, all the NFC players, and all, and there'll be new solos. So that's the first thing you want to do tomorrow when you do actually check out the new promo. Now, guys, as far as the kindling goes, with the kindling being converted now, you have to remember that players that were going for that zero chill players now do go for training. Let's see if I have any of you have any to show you guys specifically. I don't believe I do, but you never really know, right? I have a Dory Jackson. So if you click on a Dory Jackson, he now sells for 970 training. So let's see what his value is going for. He goes for 14k. So I don't remember his initial price, but let's go check out the market. Now, I want to show you guys a little bit of the market real quick because obviously with the change of uh, kindling to training, kindling values are going to be gone which means that training values are going to start taking place. It might take a little bit longer than just 10 minutes to actually completely adjust the market. But as you guys can see, all the kindling offers are gone. We are no longer in a kindling world. We are in a training world again, which is pretty interesting because, I mean, I was getting tired of kindling. I never really even enjoyed kindling, to be honest with you guys. It wasn't really my I like snowflakes a lot more last year. So let's go to Ghost of Madden. Let's go with uh, the let's go with the past, the past prices. Let's see what we're working with here. So they're at 290. If you guys don't remember, they were at about 240 a few days ago, 250. They're slowly coming back up. So, guys, the one thing that's going to happen with the training value converting is that these prices should come up a little bit. As the day goes on, their prices should come up a little bit, probably close to like 310, 315. And then once they release the masters later, and then tomorrow morning when the promo drops, they should they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna crash. So as I said in a few other videos today, I kind of recommend that you guys go sell. 
when these, if they're if their price is doing up rising, I recommend you sell because they're going to crash tomorrow more than likely when all the new cards come out because they're no longer kindling dependent. They're regular cards, they're training cards. So when new cards come out, they will lose value. Now the past, I don't necessarily think will lose too much value because they are the they are going to be some of the some of the best players still in the game. Now the present, I'm more concerned for. As you guys can see, these cards were about 195, 200k flat. They're coming up to 216, 220, 230 for Mahomes. So they're coming up a little bit already. Now, as you, if you guys wait a little bit through the day, they should come up a little bit more, as well as the Masters. And then I believe tonight when the Masters are revealed for the playoffs, and that's why one of the content drops, they should be coming back down in price. So guys, the market won't be the same. The whole kindling market's gone. That's already done. The whole kindling value, everything's gone. So things are going to come back to normal. So a 94 overall is a 94 overall once again. Because as you guys know, with training, training renders cards useless. It's essentially what you're worth is what your overall says you're worth. Now, the only way that's different is if the card's insane. If the card's insane, they'll go for whatever price they want to go for. You guys get the point there. Like Eric Dickerson, he was a 94, but he was still 700K for a while because he was Eric Dickerson. Now, every, every card here, they're not, that, they're not really above average. All these cards are just good, nothing crazy. So they're going to be going for their base price no matter how you end up looking at it. Now, guys, like Julio Jones, he'll probably stay around the same. I don't think he'll come down or up much more. Only be, Some of these might actually come down. Julio might come down a slight amount only because he was kind of above his value. And then guys like Mac and those other guys are LTD, so they won't be impacted at all. Now, guys, with Kindling being gone, that does introduce, that does give room for another uh, currency. Now, I don't think the playoff promo will introduce a currency. I don't think the NFL, not the NFL, the Team of the Year promo won't do a currency either. I don't think Team of the Year or the playoffs will do a currency. I think we got like a half month off of currency. I think the Super Bowl will do a currency. Last year, they did do a currency with the Super Bowl. It was Super Bowl rings. So I do believe we'll probably end up getting another Super Bowl rings type currency, which is when I kind of hope we get that next blitz that we've been waiting for since we haven't gotten one since the initial blitz. And we usually, we already have already gotten two since it was last year. So I don't think we'll get in currency. So don't expect the currency for quite a while, which I like because currencies confuse things a little bit and they made it very this year they're very uh vigilant to make sure that we can't make so many coins off currencies as much as you could last year which is kind of depressing now guys final tips here as far as the market goes the market's not going to be the same starting tomorrow I, it really won't be though like tomorrow starts the beginning of the end in my opinion the beginning of the end starts tomorrow we are no longer going to have this nice market with cards slowly coming in. Up. The playoff promo is going to introduce, in my, let's see, there's going to be 14 cards of Masters, five cards per set. There's about 14, there's about 12 sets. We're easily getting like 60, 60 plus cards tomorrow. The market's going to tank a little bit. Then, when you think it's finally getting a little bit better, you're going to drop LTDs, weekly performers. Then, when you think it's getting a little bit, team of the year, dead. Then, Super Bowl. Then NFL honors, guys. Tomorrow is the beginning of the end. I'm telling you, I've been warning you guys. After Christmas, things. Just, this is this is Christmas, right? So back in August, is the card value. It's like this. August, September, October, November, December, January. It's like that. Like January and the market's like this. After January, that's it. Like after January, the rest of the year, the market is going to be so unstable. One day it could be 350. One day it could be 240. Um, every card is going to be a lot cheaper. You're going to be able to afford a bunch of cards. It's going to come to a time where you can just count up any card to 99 overalls. That's the kind of point we're heading at in Madden, which is the kind of point where you see who really loves the game and who doesn't, because at that point, some people are like, okay, I'm out. Some people stay. I'm obviously staying. I love Madden. But things are going to change drastically starting tomorrow. I'm telling you guys, the Christmas promo marks that my team right now looks great and all, but in about two, three weeks, my line's not going to be even decent. My Ted is still going to be okay. My quarterback, my running back is still going to be okay, but my wide receiver is going to look way undervalued. My defensive line is going to look way under. It already does. I'm telling you guys, this marks the end. This marks the beginning of the end. This is going to be the second. This is the, this is the latter half of Madden. Oh, I got my Twitch drop pack. This is the latter half of Madden. It's going to hit pretty hard. I'm telling you guys. If you guys value playing the rest of the year. Oh, an elite. If you guys want to play the rest of the year and you're, oh, two elites. Three elites? No. All right, if you guys really want to play the rest of the year and you want to play to the end, I highly recommend you sell some cards. You you kind of sit out the playoff promo a little bit, stay back, build your coin stack up, make some coins, invest in Team of the Year promo. Because I'm telling you, Team of the Year cards you can use all year. That's a fact. You can use them all year for the most part, most of them, or at least as a depth guy. Playoff cards will not be able to be used all year. They will be good for the time being, but they won't be great in about a month. Play, team of the Year cards, 98 overalls, 97s, they will be able to be chemmed up all the way. It can be useful. Guys, that's about it for the video. 
Take that advice as you will. I kind of wrapped up the kindling, some market advice, and some tomorrow advice all together in one. I hope this video helps you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Can we get 70k by the end of the week? If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe. And make sure to like the video. Can we get 500 to 1,000 likes in a 1030 video? It's never been done before. Especially in a 1030 video. Can you guys run up the like button? Smash that button. Can we get 50 likes in this video in the first five minutes of it being posted? Noti gang, you guys better go strong today to help out the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.